What's up, you guys? This is Minister Williams. I am back for our Encouragement 101 video post. We're still on Chapter 2. Uh, we're still on our How to Walk in Peace series, and we have entered Chapter 2 this week. Second video of the week. This is the second video, and it's going to... Um, the, the next one is going to end Chapter 2. It's going to end Chapter 2. And Chapter 2 is titled, You Can Say No to Strife. So the first video, we learned what strife was or is... And how God wants us to be in unity and the importance of being in unity and being in peace and walking in peace. Like, I'm not going to, if you have not watched it, go back and watch it. I don't want to spill the beans. So, I'm going to go into this one. Again, chapter two, you can say no to strife. The subtopic in this one is adapt and adjust. Adapting and adjusting is very, very important for a believer. The opening scripture, Romans 12 and 16 says, live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, which means snobbish, high-minded, exclusive. Be readily, readily adjust yourself to people and things and give yourself to humble tasks. Never overestimate yourself and be wise in your own conceits. That's very powerful. Again, that's Romans 12 and 16. And we're going to go right into um, the lesson on, li on this one. Living in peace requires us to take responsibility for our own thoughts and actions. So, in, first thing we need to know in this one, in the adapt and adjust, is that we have to own, own it. We have to take responsibility um, for our own thoughts and actions. So, it's not so-and-so's fault. If they hadn't did this, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do this on your own mess. So, take responsibility. We're going to have to humble ourselves to do something, to do some adapting and adjusting. So you have to humble yourself. You have to be you receive when the Father lets you know that you need to take responsibility. So you need to be in an era where you can receive the information that's coming in. Be always have a ready ear to hear what what the Father is saying to you. Pursuing peace requires compromise. Pursuing peace requires Compromise. Give up right to be right. Give up right to be right. You don't have to be right all the time. We should never compromise our beliefs. So never compromise your beliefs or what God tells you to do. But we will be required to compromise our own wants and desires in order to truly love others. So you don't compromise what you believe. And you don't compromise anything that God has told you. So anything regarding what you believe in the Father. Never compromise those. Never give up those. Never convert over. You know, to something different. Always keep those. But what God is saying is. But we will be required to compromise our own wants and desires in order to truly love others. That is how. We love others in spite of our differences and disagreements and keep strife out of our relationships. This is how we keep strife out of our relationships. It's very important. Living in peace will also require us to sacrifice our needs to be right. Give up right for right so that there may be peace and unity and the anointing will be there. So you got to make sure. We all like to be right and win every argument. But being right is highly overrated. And it really is. We may win the battle. But when we insist on having our own way at the expense of a relationship, we can do tremendous danger. So you would rather be right than have your relationship. Or would you rather have your relationship... Versus being right. Don't do damage where you will, where you're going out of your way to prove that you're right and mess up your relationship. Because as you can see, the relationship hopefully is more important than it should be. Always remember, real love gives up right to be right. Real love gives up right to be right. If you truly want a healthy marriage or strong relationships with others, I recommend that you learn to say and sincerely mean this when you say it. I think I'm right, 
but I may be wrong. I think I might be right. But I, then again, I just may be wrong. There's nothing wrong with saying that. Can I let you in on a secret? Even if you know you're right, you don't always have to argue about it and prove your point. Now, I'm very good at that. I'm good at that. I'm very good at that. I've gotten better at that. I know I'm right, but I'm like, okay. That's, you know, that's fine. You know, or okay. You know, it's okay. Now, I think I'm right, but I may be wrong. I may just be wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. And again, even if you know you're right, you don't always have to argue about it and prove your points. So you don't have to argue about it and you don't have to prove your point. I got a limit because I'm not very big of an argument person. So I have a limit. I do not like to argue. I will let you have it. I will completely let you have it. And I will let the Lord manifest the rest. Like I was just completely, I'm just, I don't like a lot of arguing. I don't like a lot of strife. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not, I can't even do it. My husband will tell you that about me. I just, I don't like it. And I have a certain limit where I will just cut it off. You're right. I could be right, but then I could be wrong. But then if I know I'm right, I still don't want to argue about it and let there be peace among men. So it took me a minute to get there, to get that up of the correct way, the way God says get there. So it took me a minute. I ain't always been there, but I thank God that I've got there. Um, what's more important, being right or keeping the peace in your home? So that's another question you ask yourself. What's more important, being right or keeping peace in your home? Amen. 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 And then closing in this very short, very short Keeping the, no, yes, some things are very important and you need to stand your ground. Again, yes, some things are very important and you need to stand your ground. But there are so many things in life that just don't make a difference. It's not a big deal in Jesus name. So choose your battles wisely on the, for the journey. Real love gives up right to be right. It's it's overrated to be right all the time. So don't be up all night trying to research how you're gonna prove somebody wrong. It's not. It's just not that serious. Some things are just so petty that it really don't make sense. And sometimes we can blow those out of proportion. You know, make those small things into big things, and they shouldn't be. But make sure you decide. Is it more? Is this more important than keeping my relationship? Is this more important or having peace in my home? So we got to choose our battles in this and make sure that we choose wisely. In any situation, choose what you can do. Do it and give the rest to the Father. In Jesus' name. So video number two for the week. And we're working it out. Last video coming up um, for the week. And it's going to take us into ending chapter two. So again, chapter two, you can say no to strife. This subtopic was adapt and adjust. We have to learn how to adapt and adjust. And remember, real love gives up right for right. Keep those relationships and keep peace in your home. In Jesus' name, this is Minister Williams, and I'm out.